Hello and welcome to an awesome awesome review. Today we're looking at the Dragon Ball Kame Sunen, better known as Master Roshi SH Figure Arts by Bandai slash Tamashi Nation slash Yeah, anyways. Um so Kame Summon or Master Roshi as I'm gonna call him throughout the video because that's what I'm used to. Uh, is the second figure in the Dragon Ball SH figure line. By Dragon Ball, I mean straight out Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z, not Dragon Ball Zuber, just straight out Dragon Ball SH figure art line, which is pretty awesome to get him. I I wasn't expecting it when they announced it, but I'm glad he came out, and he's actually really, really cool. His articulation is pretty darn awesome, and he does come with a lot of stuff, and uh, I will say, you know, I'm sure there's going to be people out there complaining about a few things that cosmetically just uh with the paint and stuff not that the paint is bad in any way but i know a lot of uh collectors out there like their shading on their figures they they want them to have that painted shade you know they want them to be like painted super super nice which is understandable for the price point but at the same time for master roshi right here you know you gotta remember that this is like an entire entire unique new scope that they will most likely never use again and uh it it's got some really good articulation it's actually a really cool figure that's what i'm trying to get that so the fact that some places might not have that great of a shading and stuff like that i'm, I'm not going to complain too much because i'm just not that kind of person though i will say the face both of them look amazing and let's just run down his accessories and everything so he does come with a regular tamashi nation stand which is awesome it's always great getting one of those whether i use it or not they are just awesome to have extras of he does come with the dragon ball which actually what star dragon ball is this the three star dragon ball i should know that basically the one he had in the show he comes with a lot of hands and it's funny enough because a lot of these aren't actually in pairs. Some of them are, but for the most part, they aren't. He comes with two different hands to hold his little wooden staff. He comes with a pair of fists. He comes with a pair of stance martial arts type hands. Then he comes with three different style pointing hands. He comes with a two finger hand, which is probably meant for when they do their rock, paper, scissors version thing. Um, he comes with one that's pointing forward. He comes with one that's pointing forward, yet slightly curved. And that one's for the right hand, whereas the one that's pointed straight is for the left. He comes with an open, kind of relaxed hand for his left hand. He comes with an open grasping hand, which you can use to hold the Dragon Ball. But you gotta balance it, it doesn't fit in there perfectly or snug or anything. And he comes with one kind of blasting hand. And, uh, yeah, so, pretty good with the accessories. Um, funny enough, I feel like he should have another grasping outward hand for the Kamehameha. I don't know if maybe I, I I can't imagine I'm missing it because everything was in the box, but yeah, the same one meant for holding Dragon Ball looks like something he could use for that. I'm just putting that out there. On top of that, he does come with a couple of faces. He does come with his standard face mouth closed and a different one with his mouth open where you can take off the glasses and put them on either face you want, which is really awesome. Both faces are painted and detailed really nice. They do have shading throughout and look really, really good. As to the glasses, they have a nice sparkly green in the lenses and just look amazing. He does have his wooden staff, like I mentioned earlier. And on top of all that, he does come with a peg for his back when you don't want him to have the shell. And the shell itself, which comes with the two straps, which is kind of a little bit annoying to put in because you have to kind of put one strap onto the shelf slide it into the arm and then kind of balance it and fit the other uh kind of strap into the shell while it's on him it's not difficult but it is a little bit annoying on top of the shell it does have a removal piece in the middle where you can attach a stand which is pretty awesome so yeah that is all of the stuff he comes with which is in my opinion great i love it a lot of accessories and a decent price point and yeah let's just move everything aside now just just move everything aside now and for those of you who don't know really quick about the dragon balls you can put these on the shenron figure display that he came with i don't have it um i don't think he's gone up in value that much actually i think he's still around the hungry dollar mark which is a little surprising probably not a figure i'm gonna get at least not for a while i'm still missing that uh Saiyan raised on Earth Goku that's supposed to be really cheap, but everybody's selling for a bunch of money because um, scalping is a thing. So, yeah, anyways, taking a look at the figure itself, he does look really good. Like I said, he doesn't have too much shading when it comes to kind of like what he's wearing. The orange on it is pretty much straight up 
an orange color or it's, it's not even orange orange it's uh like a candy orange looking thing you know like those creamsicles it reminds me of that it's staff right here which is straight up brown it looks plasticky it could use a wash but otherwise it looks really good but other than that the figure is actually really good let's actually take off the uh the shell here which i'm guessing i could probably get away with taking it off like that and maybe scooping the arms around that eh, still pops off so yeah not the greatest but it works is it better than strings i i do feel like if they made this with strings it might actually have been better but then again you run the risk of those breaking where these just kind of pop off uh, you can see the little peg where it plugs into his back again like i said you can just plug in this other peg here and then it kind of closes it up so you don't have to see it for people who don't like things being exposed so anyways like i said yeah his glasses do come off articulation wise he's actually a lot better than i thought he was going to be especially for the thing he's wearing here uh he can look up a very good amount first of all he can look down but not too much you have to kind of move the neck forward and everything and you kind of move the body forward one thing i didn't mention which i should probably right now when you pop the head off the peg stays on the head which is a problem because the other head doesn't have a peg and the reason that's a problem is because taking this peg out isn't simple it's actually kind of annoying and plugging it into the head again is kind of annoying um not the best design i don't know if they intended it to be like that where the uh the peg stays in the head or not but if they did they should have gave a peg to both heads right here or maybe it's just like i said a flaw and it's not supposed to actually come off the neck but it does and it's annoying moving on he can look left he can look right he can pivot his head side to side like i said his glasses do come off they're not on there too tight but they're not they're on there too loose so they can't stay on decent enough so don't worry about them kind of just falling off randomly uh his arms can move out that much rotate all the way around he does have upper arm rotation right there he does have double it's not really double jointed it's a single jointed elbow really it's like a ball peg you can see like it's a giant ball but it does give him a good amount of range right there uh, is it pretty it, yeah actually it, it's smooth it goes in it looks fine i don't have a problem with it it's a little bit round right there but who really cares uh through the sleeve you can see he does have the regular standard kind of peg for the hands right there so that's awesome i do wish the sleeve was painted in black right there so that it wasn't just white and it kind of you know I, at the same time you know looking at it like this it doesn't look too bad i don't know part of me wants it to be have like a little bit of black in there so it looks like it's going in but at the same time looking at it from this angle it's not bad at all you can lean back just a little bit lean forward a pretty good amount lean side to side decent enough go left and right from there though you can see there is a good amount of gapage going on when you pose him but it's fine if you get him in the right pose you can get him looking really good he doesn't have any rotation there which i would have thought because of the way this is all loose and stuff but that's really just for his legs to be able to kick forward to kick back to kick out which is really good swivel a little bit in there not too much but enough that it makes a difference have a single no yeah it's a double jointed knee right there which again maybe you're thinking it doesn't look the best but i think it's enough for me i think it looks good and that's a lot of movement that's actually a lot of movement so his foot can go forward and back pivot side to side and he does have that ankle articulation or that toe articulation i should say right there but like i said getting him into some like actually really good poses is not difficult at all with this guy and i love it uh balancing him probably the hardest part but it's not too bad as you guys can see you know just change up to the right hands and everything and he can look amazing i think they did an amazing job with master rosha here they really did i mean yes that doesn't look that great from the back but let's be honest here if you're posing this guy in like a fighting stance where he's facing this direction are you really going to be looking at his back on your shelf i highly doubt it so it's not really something i would complain about you know is it nice no would it be nice if they could cover it up sure but does it matter in the long run probably not because i doubt you're going to be looking at it from the back when you have him pose in such a position 
again you can do a lot of these poses with the shell on it does limit the arms just a little bit in the kind of forward and back motion and everything but not enough where it actually stops you from getting something kind of like this done which is actually really cool and you can pose him with the tamashi nation stand comes with a good amount of hands and stuff as you guys already saw and uh yeah let's just move on to some size comparisons and wrap this video up so here he is compared to Marvel Legends Spider-Man and the SH figure of Super Saiyan God Goku. You can see he is definitely shorter from the Marvel Legends figure and the Goku, but not by much. Again, not the Goku I'd want to be comparing him to. I'd rather compare him to the newer, cheaper one, but can't get my hands on it just yet. I mean, at least not for retail price. So yeah, they don't look too bad. I mean, I think Master Roshi might be standing a little bit too tall. He should maybe be just a little bit shorter if I'm being honest here, but there goes Goku and... um. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. Is he a little bit big for the Dragon Ball Z line? Probably, but not by much. And here he is compared to the SH figure arts on Goku from the same line. You can see that he does stand a pretty good size next to him. I mean, yes, Goku changes height throughout the series. He gets older, he gets taller and everything. So I'm okay with it, especially since Goku is wearing this gi. It's obviously not from like his first appearance or anything. It's, again, towards the later half of the, what would it be, the second season around the tournament arc. Uh, I, I think they look good together. I do. They fit in. I can't wait for Krillin. And Bulma, I know, is already out in Japan, I believe. i will hopefully be getting her soon. i just not excited that she's just based off of one of the random covers and not just her design from either Z or Super or just regular Dragon Ball. I think I would have preferred that a lot more than the weird stylized version we're getting of her. Uh, Krillin, I'm pretty sure, is just a reuse of this Goku body with a different head sculpt and probably some slight alterations. I can't imagine they're giving us like 100% the same body and everything. Uh, it's possible, you know, it's happened. Super Saiyan Goku, Gohan, Goku, the original ones, pretty much the same body. Even Piccolo reused a lot of the parts from them which probably contributed to his height being so off. But yeah, either way, I'm excited to have these guys. Hopefully we get like a younger Yamcha at some point. Uh, I I wouldn't say a younger Tien. I don't see that happening. Uh, maybe a Chaozu would be amazing. Uh, I really doubt we're going to get Poir or Oolong. But I really would like it if we would get Jackie Chung. I know it's Master Roshi, but the Jackie Chung version of Master Roshi. How awesome would that be to have him, especially with this Goku? Uh, that that would be so good. So hopefully we get something like that. In the meantime, these two figures are awesome, and I definitely recommend both of them. So would I recommend this figure? The answer is absolutely yes. Yes, for those of you who like shading on your figures, don't expect it much on his clothing at all. But the glossiness of his shirt is actually really nice. It stands out, especially compared to the mattiness of his pants and his face. His face actually stands out so well because it's one giant piece instead of two pieces kind of put together. You know, you're not taking off a face and putting on a different face to all, all together or whatever. You're putting on a completely different head, which has been painted and shaded very, very nice. The eyes look good. The mouth looks good. The ears look good. Uh, it doesn't match the tone of his hands and neck and feet too well, but it's not too noticeable at all. You can tell that his feet, his shoes are painted on, and the line work on mine isn't perfect, but it's decent enough. And overall, it's a really good figure. You know, the the cheapest looking piece of it is honestly the staff. It, it definitely is a very plasticky brown, as are the straps on the shell, but the shell itself looks amazing. It has a lot of detail, looks really good. And before I forget, I did fix the little head issue. I think whoever put mine together in the factory didn't push in the peg all the way. And I don't know why I didn't try it, because I've had this guy for a couple of weeks now, sitting here getting ready for the review. And yeah, I, I kind of forced it in more so than usual, and now it fits in good and can pop off without the, the the head can pop off without the neck joint popping off which is good um so if you guys have the same issue just kind of force it in there put put it on the head first put you know the peg on the master roshi head and then force it down a little bit it should stay in there pretty good at least that's what how it happened with mine um trying to think if there's anything else i'm forgetting here i mean he does come with a lot of accessories again the three-star dragon ball which is awesome a whole bunch of different hands 
uh, only two heads, but with the glasses, it does feel like more. It feels like you have an extra two more, which is awesome. And not really much else to say here. It's a really good figure. I actually am surprised by how much I like this Master Roshi figure. Now, I'm not saying I don't like Master Roshi's character. He's awesome. He really is awesome. He's a great character. But I wasn't super excited to get his action figure or his figure art. But you know what? I absolutely love it. And again, I definitely recommend it. It is a great figure. One of the best ones we've gotten in a while. Likeness-wise, articulation-wise, accessory-wise. Absolutely love it. I might like it more than the Goku Black just because Goku Black came with the wrong styled Super Saiyan hair. He should have had an extra spike in there. If it wasn't for that, I might like him more. But so far, uh, release-wise, he's probably my favorite one of the year next to Majin Buu. We'll take a look. We'll see. That'll be coming soon. But until then, uh, not really much to say here. Um, if you guys are wondering about the diorama in the background, which you will see in the pictures soon, it's not complete. It's yeah, I've worked on it earlier this year, and maybe I'll do its own video at some point. It's really jingly put up together, jingly put up together right now. It's actually a lot bigger than it looks if I had all the pieces out. Right now, I'm just kind of displaying the front part and stuff. So let me know what you guys thought about that. Um, and not really much else to say here other than I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe for more, and I will see you all later. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.